Hi guys, how are you doing everyone? This is Shorty T. Turrell here and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to give you a little um, tip on the usefulness of a one and a half metre length of welding wire. Now, not everyone has welding wire at home, I get that. But if you can have the foresight to think, everyone knows who, someone who's a welder. So put the note out on Facebook, anything like that, someone somewhere will be able to produce you a piece of welding wire. Absolutely vital to keep in your home, brilliant thing. Now, this tip for today is cleaning out the hydration pack um, or camelback systems for people who use them for cycling and things like that, but concentrating mainly on the pipe. So we'll show you the system. As like me, you come to it a week or so after, or maybe even longer of riding, and you realize that you never cleaned it out last time you used it. That's pretty much standard by most people. Uh, in that time, if it's been longer, or it maybe even had energy drinks and stuff, it could have even gone off and started looking a bit manky. So, there is very, very good products out there on the market by Camelback and other people like that, uh, and other companies, and they make tools deliberately for this reason. But, if you don't have one of them to hand, and to buy one of them might take a couple of days to get here, a quick shout out on Facebook to, to a welder, and you maybe have a piece of wire in your hand within an hour. Right. Take this one and a half piece of meter, uh, one and a half meter of wire. Sorry, beg your pardon. And take your mum's best tea towel or your missus's best tea towel. Um, I live on my own, so I won't get in trouble for this. I can do as I please. And cut a one inch or less strip off it, tiny little bit. And this is off my tea towel. Yep. Now from this. We'll uh, just get the wire, we'll do a quick time lapse and we'll uh, undo it and get it crimped up. So guys, after unwinding it, take your one and a half metre of welding wire, fold a little loop back on itself and slot in said good tea towel end. Give it a nice good crimp up with a pair of pliers. Nice good crimp up, a bit of a, maybe, maybe a bit of a twist at the end so it can't come out. Now this, to wet the pipe and wet this material. You can even choose to put some uh, detergent down there if it's if it's really bad. Mine isn't because it was only a week ago and it was only had water in it. Uh, and then proceed to thread it down the pipe. Now if you struggle with this, just trim the end of it, make it a bit narrower and it'll go down slightly easier. Now you can take the pipe off one end and slot it all the way down or you can go halfway and then halfway back again. Either way, do it a couple of times to clean it out. So make sure we're in the, uh, in the sink, a bit of water in, a bit of water on that. We could pretend we've got detergent on and start to thread down. Just remember at this point that this is only a quick fix. It's only if you want to get out riding and you haven't got the means to clean out your hydration pack ASAP without having to wait a couple of days for a delivery for a said tools. So, please do not slate me to say that this is just a cowboy trick, because we know that. But the sun's out, and I'm going to go riding, and I want clean water. Right, so that's nicely pushed down. I can see through it there. It is well past halfway, it's there. There, easy as that. And it's quite taut, so carefully pull out, put your eyes with it, the amount of muck that pulled out earlier when I first cleaned it out and realised it was disgusting. I can't believe I've been drinking through that. So again, just to get it to the other end, all the way back through, overlap it so I've at least passed halfway again. As easy as that, passed halfway, pull it back out. straightforward. Now that, if you haven't done it in a while, will be disgusting. So feel free to do it again and again, however long, however many times it takes. So I can't use a touch of detergent like washing up liquid or something, but as long as you rinse it out well after so you don't have a the horrible taste, because the last thing you want to be doing on the trails is um, 
tasting water that, uh, that um, has a resemblance of fair, fair liquid. So after that, wind up your wire again, dry it off so it doesn't rust, and uh, proceed to rebuild it. Then uh, you've got clean drinking water. If you interested on what other uses we've got for this I'll put some tags in and I will do some more with it um, especially on the mountain biking scene if you um, I'll just keep looking over there I do thank you about it's just uh, prompting me um, when I rebuilt my hope rear disc um, I struggled to get the pipe work through the swinging arm for the rear disc so with this again I was able to thread it down and I can manipulate all the way through nip it on the end again crimp it over pull it back through easy as that um, there's loads of other uses for it. Get yourself some welding wire, stick it in a drawer, you've got it for the future, whenever you need it. This thing also comes in handy for fishing and bloody all sorts. Get some welding wire, good tip, get cleaned out, get your buy in the meantime, and when you can afford it or when you've got the time, you can even get yourself a proper tool to clean these pipes out. Right, thank you very much everyone, see you again soon. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Girl, I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together